Hi people, Seek the Visceral, aka Jesse here. How you doing? I'm doing alright. 31 weeks as a non-smoker. That's nice, but what's even nicer is that I have over 500 subscribers. And I didn't notice until just today. Thank you everybody. Um, I wanted to talk in this video about dreams. About dreams, about daydreams, about fantasies, about goals. Are they all the same thing? Do we apply the same meaning to a dream as we do to a goal? What is the difference between a dream and a goal? And what is the difference between a dream and a fantasy? Now a lot of people don't put much stock into dreams. When we actually go to sleep and you know we have our REM cycle and our minds play. Have you ever had a recurring dream that you've had since childhood? Is it a painful dream or is it a remarkable dream that's changed your life? Do they become more vivid as your days go by and you're encased in more and more intense situations? I know that dreams are powerful when we lose a loved one because we dream about their death after they're gone, whoever it may be, a friend, a loved one. But what about when we're happy? Does it lose the meaning of the dream if we are so happy in our lives when we're awake that we don't dream when we're asleep? Does that mean our dreams have come true? Or does it mean that we've reached the level of happiness in the dream that we have in real life? Can you find a solution to a problem in real life from a dream? Or vice versa? You can fix your dreams if you have the discipline and the know-how and they're called daydreams not just daydreams but when you have an actual nap in between 15 to 20 minutes when you're half asleep and half awake you can actually control your dreams you know those dreams where you're trying to run as fast as you can but you stay in place or you try to fly and then all of a sudden you're starting to hit the ground well the rules don't apply during like a power nap. You can actually change the outcome. You can make things come into fruition. You can discard the bad. And the dream lasts as long as you want it to. You can stay asleep. And you can choose to be fully asleep. Or you can say, okay, enough of this dream. I'm going to fully wake up now. Anybody who doesn't believe me has never had a nap. So I wanted to know. I wanted to know from you. What do you think of your dreams? Are they the same as your goals? I don't think that they are. Dreams tie in with our fantasies and our fears. And we certainly don't want our fears to come to life. But also our fantasies. If I fantasize every day about driving a monster truck, and then one day I drive a monster truck and it wasn't as satisfying as the dreams, then my fantasy has collapsed. It is no longer a fantasy. Also, your dreams sometimes have to do with what is unattainable. Like being the first female president or just, you know, curing cancer. It's, these are things that we want and we aspire humanity to be like our dreams. But which would you choose? What would you rather have? real life or your dreams? Or do you want both? Personally, I hope none of my fantasies come true. I like them just the way they are. In my dreams, you know, coming to the front of my mind when I'm extremely bored at work. I want them in my daydreams and my naps. I don't want them anywhere in real life. Maybe in dreams you don't have control but you always wake up. That is until we die. So let me know what you think. Oh, and uh, look and see what Derek did.